Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rock Studios. I'm Stan Miller. I'm the PR and Analyst Relations Manager for Rockwell Automation in the EMEA region, and I'm here with Rogelio DeMay. He is the Group Supply Chain Manufacturing IT Senior Manager for an iconic brand, BIC, of BIC Pens. Rogelio, Hello, to the studio. Good to, to be here. I'm really, really happy and excited to be here and talk a little bit about what we're doing at BIC. Uh, so like you said, it's an iconic brand. Uh, and I always like to say that I'm Mexican. And uh, I, I, so I was born in Mexico. And I, since I was a little boy, I used these pens. And I used to think that they were Mexican, you know. And then I came to France. Uh, I started my career in the digitalization uh, of the factories. And I discovered that it was actually French. So yes, it's, it's definitely iconic. And we all know that, that product. Well, I am so excited to understand that you know the digitalization journey of of BIC and the work that you've done. So let me just ask you right out of the gates, what are your primary business drivers for digitalization and transformation? Yeah, so of course there is always ROI. So we any project needs an ROI. But I think that for us, uh, there were mainly two challenges that we wanted to cope with. Uh, so one was the standardization. So we need to standardize our production processes. So this is the first one. And the second one is what we call the horizontal and vertical integration, uh, which is how do we put together the machines, the people, up to the business layers, and how do we uh, put also together the, the, the different functions in the factory. So these were the, the main two drivers. Interesting. Tell me a little bit about features and functionality, the, the features and functionality that drove the decision to choose uh, the Plex MES over other offerings. Well, you know, we spent a lot of time uh, making benchmarks and, and testing different different solutions, and in fact, what really drove us was the the, the functional. Uh, it was one of the most f uh, widest functional scopes that we could find. You know, you can do planning, you can do quality, you can uh, even continuous improvement. So you really can integrate all these uh, you know functions that we have in, in a factory. Uh, so this is one of the op uh, one of the things widest scope, but also the, the, the technical capabilities, because we were thinking, you know, two challenges is the same thing. So we need to put together the machines and uh, the, the, the business layers. And uh, here again, with Mac 2, you know, you can do this uh, very well. And there is one other important thing to say, uh, and is that, uh, you know, Plex MES uh, from Rockwell is a uh, out of the box solution software as a service, and it's also uh, in the cloud. And uh, for the standardization processes, uh, you need to fit into a frame. So this, is, this was really great. You have a, a really nice frame because you have many capabilities. And at the same time, you can go with the factories and say, let's fit into this frame. And this is where the standi uh, standardization can happen. You know, So we built our core model for the MES. That's great context to have. Rahel, let me ask you this. What local MES challenges were you looking to solve with a, a unified global cloud MES? Yeah, so I think it's all about breaking silos. And this is, since the beginning, I think that this is the, the key message. We are trying to break in silos. Uh, but also, you know, I, I'm on the IT part. So of course, I, I work with business. But uh, from an IT perspective, something really, really great that happened with, uh, with this MES is that we went from several little and small pieces of software, you know, sometimes developed in-house, uh, sometimes they bought little pieces of software, you know, and in every factor you had different things, uh, different uh, types of softwares. Uh, so uh, in the end, what we wanted to do is simplify our IT footprint, you know. So we are doing two things. We simplify our footprint. We have one single MES software that drives most of the functions in a factory. And at the same time, we are achieving this breaking the silos, you know, between the people because they all work together. They share the same, uh, the same application, you know, so the same data. It's, it's really amazing what's, what's happening. There. That makes so much sense. All right, well, let me ask you about the benefits. What are the benefits of having the, the Mach 2 solution as part of the overall package? More than an advantage, I would say that it's mandatory. You know, we, we need to connect the machines, but why do we want to connect the machines? There is the KPIs on one side, of course, but the one thing that uh, all our users, they are thrilled today in the, in the factory that we put in place, the DMES, is the automatic production declaration, for example. You know, so you have uh, you, the, 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 the operators, they are producing something, and we, the counters are there, and Mac2 is saying, okay, it's time to uh, print a label, to declare the production to the ERP. So it, this automatization, it really uh, make a big change <coughs> for our people in the shop floor. That's great. Well, can you share 
what sort of savings are you anticipating, whether it's time or, or money or, or effort? What, what, what are your expectations? Well, here, here we are going back to the ERI. Of course, I, I envision a lot of benefits that we ha can have from, from uh, the MES, but the group uh, were focalized on mainly three uh, core drivers for the ERI, which is uh, we need to uh, control our inventory, so reduce inventory, uh, the scrap, and of course, increase our OE. Now, I always say, it's very important to say it, it's not because because you have bought a scale that you are going to lose weight. So now uh, we have the scale, and now we have to put in place the, the right action plans, you know, to make this uh, a reality. And here uh, we are helped by, by a, a partnership with Plex, Rockwell teams, uh, to work together on how we're going to track, measure those uh, ROI drivers, and demonstrate the, yeah, the benefits of. Thank you for that. that I think that's Plex. great background to have. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Um, how will the Plex and Mach 2 uh, support other elements of your smart manufacturing initiative? Yeah, so uh, in fact, uh, today it's, it's the beginning, you know, the, of the journey. I always say the MES is going to be the foundation, our uh, backbone, we call it that way in, in BIC, uh, where it's the beginning of everything. So now that we have the MES, the machines are connected, we have broken these silos. The next step is how do we go uh, beyond that? Uh, so we have to th talk about the AGVs. We have AGVs in, in BIC, but now we need to connect them also to this, to this MES. We have to talk about warehouse management system. We have to talk about maintenance. So there are a, a lot of elements inside the factory that we still need to tackle. And I think that DME is a very good beginning. And then we need to go beyond, you know, uh, so beyond the walls of the, of the factory, uh, where you have the supply on one side and the deliver on the other side. Uh, and is, this is where we want to go because uh, I think it's key for the industry 4.0. It's a word that we have heard since a long time. And I think it's this full integration that will uh, let us go to this to this dream, I would say. That's great. How important is your ongoing self-sufficiency? Uh, it's, it's, it's key. Uh, for sure, it's key. Uh, you know, we have a lot of factories. Uh, so uh, this is also uh, one of the drivers that, uh, that why we choose uh, Plex MES is because uh, of this promise of saying, OK, we're going to support you on the first factories. We're going to work together as partners. And once that you have been put in place the first two, three sites, then you are ready to go by yourself because we have built the core model. We have built the, the, the knowledge that we need in, the, in, the, in, in, in BIC. And so uh, this is a uh, work in progress. Exciting. Th Rohel, thank you so much for joining us in Rock Studios. It's been a fantastic discussion. And thank you for watching. If you're interested in learning more about Plex MES, visit rockwallautomation.com or plex.com for more information.